They make an immense amount of sense. This is great news for Charger fans, terrible news for me as a Chiefs fan, because all of a sudden there'd be a real live second uh, team to worry about in the division. And those are, if you're not a better, those odds are overwhelming. If, if the, char the Chargers are a favorite, according to Fox Bet, versus the field, there's not another team that's worse than four to one, or better than, yeah, worse than four to one. So that is overwhelming, according to Fox Bet. He goes to the Chargers. And it should be overwhelming because for every reason I said Tom Brady made sense to the Chargers, Cam Newton makes even more sense because at this point in his career, he's better than Tom Brady. He might not sell quite as many tickets, but he is a name. He is a star. He, we saw him the last time he was healthy, the first half of 2018, play some of the best football of his career. The Chargers gave Anthony Lynn an extension, the head coach, but it's a fake extension. It's one additional year, meaning he's coaching for his job this year after his first bad year with the team uh, for being 5-11 and 11 last season. So they have weapons. They have two legitimate superstars on defense. The AFC kind of has a soft middle tier, which they could skyrocket to the top of, or at least near the top of. And they have a need at quarterback wilds because – Tyrod Taylor, I like Tyrod, but Tyrod, if he's your backup, you love him. If he's your starter, you're always looking for the next guy. And, Kevin, it would give the Chargers a jolt of energy and excitement. So for all those reasons, I think it makes perfect sense for the Chargers, Kevin. Look, I'm a Patriots fan. I want Cam on the Patriots badly. I'm going to start a uh, burner Twitter account and just respond to every official Patriots tweet with the cam gif of him nodding and getting focused. But <laughs> if he's not going to the Patriots, I would like him to go to the Chargers because I'm a fan of the NFL overall. I pulled up the Chargers 2020 opponents on the old trusty rusty computer here. In addition to two games against Mahomes, that would be nice to see Nick just uh, totally devastated that he could win. Uh, Cam plays against the Bengals, so I'll have uh, Joe Burrow versus Cam would be a great game. Broncos game against his old offense coordinator, Mike Shula, who's now the quarterback's coach. So that'll be like, aha, it's like a little either revenge game or some sort of Shakespearean thing there. Then we've got Patriots. So like Belichick, we kind of wanted this guy. What are we going to do? Breeze. Tampa Bags, uh, Cam versus Brady. And then finally, you play the Panthers. Whatever team... Cam goes to, I want him to play the Panthers. The over-under on that game will be 100 points, and, Cam, and this final score of the game will be 100 to nothing. Cam is going to light the Panthers on fire. Greg, I wouldn't mind him going to the Chargers. Right. Long story short. Too late. <laughs> uh, I think Hey, I think Greg, the let me, let me just ask thing. you this. I, hold, go ahead. Go, go ahead, Greg. Jimmy. I think the Chargers All right, would be well, a I'm good a little fit. higher on Tyrod Taylor than Nick is. Nick is out on Tyrod Taylor as a starter, better on him as a backup. Chargers already have him in place. He knows the system. They've got a team, a good team in place. Should they even want Cam Newton? Yeah, they should. They should because he's a superstar. He's a proven winner. He's a former MVP. He's taken a team to the, to the Super Bowl. He understands what it takes, and he's maturing. It, look. This notion of he's 30 years old and he's getting older and no one wants him. No, I don't even think that it's no one wants him. It's teams have what they they desire right now on their roster and they have the draft in front of them and options right there lying in front of them with the draft. And so they're waiting. And I think Cam will land soon after the draft. But if there is a team that he could end up very well on, as we see the Fox bet, it's the Chargers, and it would be great. It would be fantastic, not only for the city of Los Angeles from a fan base and from a drawing perspective, but for Keenan Allen and Mike Williams and those guys to get Cam Newton, they would yep. love it. They would absolutely thrive with Cam Newton at quarterback, and it would be the first time Cam Newton has had more than just one receiver that he could really rely and depend on and the defense, the Chargers weren't a bad, they were a bad team. They just suffered a lot of injuries. Derwin James and what, what have you, they were injured. I like the Chargers, especially if Cam Newton is their quarterback. 
Nick, do the Chargers suddenly become contenders in the AFC if they get Cam? A hundred percent. Like, listen, right now, the, the Chiefs and the Ravens are clearly the two favorites going into next season out of the AFC. But who is third? The, we don't know who the quarterback for the Patriots is. We do know who the quarterback for the Bills is, and that probably hurts their case. The Steelers, we know who their quarterback is, but we don't know what he weighs, and we don't know if his elbow works anymore. The Texans just traded away their best player, or their second best player, pardon me. The Colts are starting Phillip Rivers. There is a very, very legitimate argument to be made that with a healthy Cam Newton, the Chargers become the third best team in the AFC, and it should be noted, we are just one season removed from the Chargers being tied with the Chiefs for the best record in the conference, Jenna, at 12-4. and four. Then Rivers' season went to hell, and Derwin James broke his foot. That's what happened in 2019. So, yes, absolutely, Jenna, they become contenders if they had a healthy Cam Newton. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.